Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank you for convening today's hearing to discuss the importance of technology and innovation that's driving the development of the Internet of Things across all sectors of our economy. Chief among the industries applying IoT innovations is production agriculture. Farmers and ranchers face high levels of risk that range from extreme weather conditions to fluctuating commodity markets. To counteract these challenges and remain competitive, ag producers rely on technological advancements to continue to provide for their families and also to feed a hungry world. Today I want to welcome Tim Hassinger, CEO and President of Lindsay Corporation, which is located in Omaha, Nebraska. While Mr. Hassinger is not new to production agriculture, he is new to Lindsay. He's uh, been CEO a little less than a month. Prior to joining Lindsay, he was president and CEO of Dow AgroSciences. I want to thank him for testifying today about the technical, technological needs of our nation's farmers. Lindsay Irrigation System manufactures zematic center pivots, which dot our nation's countryside and provide essential natural resource enhancement capabilities. Nebraska is rich in groundwater thanks to the Oklala Aquifer. Innovators like Lindsay provide our ag producers with the resources and tools that are necessary so that they can maximize yields, safeguard the soil, and better manage our precious water resources. Access to technology has become the number one driver to accelerate <coughs> ag producers into the future, and today's rural areas experienced incre increased productivity due to the adoption of new technologies that are fueling U.S. agricultural growth. However, many producers still lack access to basic internet and broadband technologies and that leaves them at a competitive disadvantage. So why we cannot be data rich, we seem to be information poor. And it's important that we provide our ag producers and our leading innovators like Lindsay the connectivity and the tools that they need. So Mr. Hassinger, can you please expand on the broader picture of when farmers are not able to access broadband, such as planting and productivity, and how does this lack of connectivity affect when you have machined meat, machine operations or machine to farm operations? Well, thank you, Senator Fisher, and I would describe your summary as, uh, as well said in terms of the challenge in front of us, just to bring a little more context to it. A, a recent USDA report indicates that just under 30 percent of the farms across our rural uh, country do not have access to broadband access, so or broadband capabilities. So when you look at that, and I'll just use the technology that Lindsay has brought forward called FieldNet Advisor, which is simply a pivot control uh, a tool that al allows science-based recommendations to the irrigation. Our trials would say that that is generating roughly an additional $40 per acre. To put that in, uh, again, more information, on corn trials, that was a 3% yield. It was reducing the trips over the field. It reduced the energy costs, which brought a $40 per acre profit. But equally important, it reduced the amount of water used per acre by 17%. Senator Fisher, what that says is, roughly 30% of our farmers are not getting access to that type of technology. So that's a competitive disadvantage for them, and this is a space where increasing investment is being made, and you would anticipate that divide would only get wider over time. You know, when we look at uh, the connectivity that's available for um, broadband, especially mobile broadband, what kind of metrics do you think uh, we need to consider when we address that network. A lot of times we look at road miles. Don't you think we ought to look at acres? Well, I think absolutely the Especially acre, in sparsely populated areas. W without a doubt. Um, you know, here I'm, I'm mentioning that roughly 30 percent of the, the farms that have access, the, most, the more critical metric, as you said, would be the amount of acres that are not covered related to that. I, I, I put this, uh, I think something that's very powerful on this is at a time when we know and, and there's a lot of talk about the need to increase food production, irrigated acres represent roughly 60, 16 percent of the total acres. 
but they represent 44% of the total output. So making sure that those acres, as you mentioned, Senator Fisher, have access to the, the newest technology becomes only even more important as we go forward. Thank you, sir, and thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your courtesy. Thank you, Senator Fisher.